More than 700,000 cases of aortic valve disease in the U.S. are due to high LPA. Aortic valve disease includes damage to the aortic valve in the heart. This can reduce blood flow and lead to major complications, including death. Aortic valve disease can be serious and deadly. Five million adults in the United States are estimated to have aortic valve disease. 15,000 Americans die from AVD every year. One in seven cases of aortic valve disease are due to high LPA, the sticky cholesterol. High LPA is genetic and runs in families. Unfortunately for some, the first sign of disease is a heart attack or stroke. Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer for men and women. You don't have to have poor lifestyle habits or have high lipoprotein A. Diet and exercise has little to no impact on lowering LPA. In April of 2016, I was 35 years old. I had a five-year-old at home, happily married to my husband, Mike. Um, and I was 17 weeks pregnant with our second child when I was diagnosed with aortic stenosis. And then I think more people need to know about LPA because like even before all this, I knew absolutely nothing about it. But now it's, I have a whole plethora of knowledge about it and I think more people need to know about it too so they can get tested. So I started to feel not that great after I learned I was pregnant. I spent the day in the emergency room and then they did admit me. Um, I had a echocardiogram done and that was when the doctors determined that I had aortic stenosis and that I would most likely need open heart surgery. And then my fourth weekend, I was 20 weeks pregnant. I was getting ready to have a heart catheter done the next day. I was in the bathroom washing up and I started feeling really cold and I just felt off. I wasn't feeling right. So I sat down in the chair that was there and everything went black. Um, I went into cardiac arrest. I woke up on the floor with a bunch of nurses around me um, and I thought I had just passed out. I didn't think anything of it. And then um, one of the nurses had said, no, you went into cardiac arrest, your heart stopped. You were gone for about three or four minutes. And that was when reality hit me and I was like, okay, this is really serious. Um, the next morning, 7 a.m., I was in surgery. Uh, they gave me a mechanical valve and I also received a double bypass because I had blockages in my arteries already at 35. Um, after everything, uh, after the surgery happened, um, everything was good. And my cardiologist referred me to an internist and my internist, Dr. Doyle, was the one that discovered I had high LPA. And that was basically the cause of the calcification of my valve and my blockages in my arteries. Um, I was trying not to burst into tears. Basically, I was terrified. Um, I was just holding everything in, trying to be strong for my husband, because he was there too. And uh, yeah, I was just thinking, all right, this is it, here we go. Um, let's hope for the best, let's hope I wake up. <laughs> I had to do my best to keep my head straight, you know, because I had, you know, a, a lot going on. So I guess the, the best thing I could say to anyone is just to yeah, keep your head straight. Um, you know, don't don't try to think about the negatives, even though they're right there in your face, and just tr try to keep positive as you can and take it day by day, because you know that's all you can do. You know, and even the fact when her heart stopped. You know, we were all standing there when it happened, and he's seen it. Um, that was, that was hard. That was, uh, that was a hard one to handle. No, oh, I love her. I mean, you know, I couldn't imagine how my life would be without her. He was, Dylan was my little miracle baby. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here right now because I wouldn't have taken the time to go to the doctor and get myself checked out. So if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here right now, and he wouldn't either. 
Lowering LPA could lead to major reductions in cardiovascular disease. Testing and new therapies for high LPA could half the cases of aortic valve disease in patients with high LPA. AVD can be successfully treated with aortic valve replacement. Learn more about aortic valve disease and high LPA by visiting www.testlpa.org. A simple blood test can be the first step in preventing aortic stenosis.